Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Dunia Imran and I'm going to present about project background and problem statement Okay, first project background In this modern era, AI has become widely used in the field of medicine The core concept of our project is that in an emergency situation such as doctors are not immediately available or doctors may make some mistakes due to human error and such to solve or get rid of these issues, we have to take a look at different illnesses and create a prototype. In this study, we, exam we examine several types of diseases based on their various symptoms such as fever, cough, runny nose, tiredness and sore throat and the corresponding illnesses caused by them. Okay, next is, after that, we formulate a conclusion that takes into account the disease symptoms and then determine whether the patient has what type of illness such as COVID, cold, flu, typhoid, measles and even malaria. Finally, we will prescribe the proper medications to the patients according to the disease detected and hopefully make them healthy again. Okay, next is problem statement. Okay, in this current moment, the health sector is now experiencing a number of issues with technologies and gadgets that provide findings that are unreliable or undesirable. Consequently, in order to steer clear of undesirable outcomes and achieve the intended outcomes, we are creating a software or project that will make precise predictions based on data that is already stored in the machine and information provided by the user or the patient. There are information and knowledge shortcomings in the health industry. There is a lot of work to be done in this enormous sector. Therefore, utilizing, utilizing all of those techniques, methodologies and algorithms, we started this initiative to help those in need. The issue here is that thousands of individuals visit clinics or hospitals to learn about their health and want to know about their diseases and want to cure them. But this leads to the need of traveling to obtain the answers and the patients occasionally may not receive the results based on various circumstances such as the doctor being on vacation or having another important issue. They also may not have gone to the hospital and there are likely numerous other factors to consider. To avoid being in all of those issues and uncertainty, this is why we are working on a project that will help patients and individuals who need to know their health status. Sometimes, if someone has seen a few symptoms on their body, but he or she is unsure about the illness that they are dealing with and this can lead to serious problems in the future if the symptoms are left unchecked. To prevent this and learn about the illness when it is in the early stages, this disease prediction program will be extremely beneficial to a broad spectrum of people including youngsters, adults and senior citizens. Okay, thank you. That's all from me, Dene Imran, and I will pass the presentation to my fellow teammates. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Iza Masara binti Ibrahim and I will be presenting objectives, project significance and project scope. So first, objectives. The objectives of this project is to develop a system for people to diagnose if they are infected by diseases such as COVID-19, cold, flu, typhoid, measles, and malaria or not based on the symptoms that they have. Second, to design a system that can help people find out about their health status easily anytime and anywhere. Lastly, to give a chance to people to know about their health status without needing to go to the hospital. Next, project significance. The system is an alternative for people who do not have time to go to the hospital to diagnose their health. It is very helpful for people that cannot go out of their house to go to the hospital for checkup because of feeling sick. It is also very easy to use by many people as people just need to answer few questions to find out about their health status. Lastly, it is very convenient because it can be used anytime and anywhere. Lastly, project scope. To create a system that is suitable for any people who want to know about their health condition. 
Second, to create a system that will inform the user whether they are infected by any of their diseases through the symptoms that the user is currently feeling. Third, to create a system that will recommend the medicine that the user need to take based on their type of disease. Lastly, to create a system that will provide suggestions about what the user has to do in order to reduce the pain or to take the countermeasure to avoid that particular disease from getting worse. So that's all from me. Thank you. Yeah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Muizudi bin Muhammad Yassin and I'm one of the team members that create this system. So for my part, I'm going to show you how the flow that system works from the flow chart. So in the flow chart, the show user required to run compiler, which is the command is go. When the user run the compiler, the system will ask the user the question, which is does the patient have the following symptom? So for our system, we got plenty of symptom that determine their disease, and they, and this and the output that determine their disease, we got six. Type it for now. So one of them is cold, flu, COVID, typhoid, measles, and malaria. And we start with cold. Let's say if the user said that he had headache, uh, runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat, and system will det determine the user that the user had disease cold. And for the output, it will show that the user required the advice and suggestion to minimize the disease. And in the output, it will show what type of disease that user got. And it will end. So let's say if the user went to start again, and let's say for the COVID, the user came in that he had a fever, caught and tiredness. And then suddenly he don't have any lost taste and lost smell. So the system will determine that he required to run again. So he will he will take the user to the first starting point and user required to run again and the system will ask the same question until the user found the correct input so that the system will determine what type of disease that the user got. So for the all output, we have advice and suggestion that user could take, and it will show the what type of what type of disease that user got. So that's all from me. Thank you. Alright, hello, assalamualaikum, and a very good day, Abi to Sir Sulaiman. Uh, I am Omar Zibraslan, and today I will talk about our system, my group system, which is the medical diagnosis system, and I will talk about the source code and uh, testing the output of the system so we have here on the screen on the left we have uh, go as the execution uh, rule and down here uh, we have the the output where it, it says welcome to our expert system or medical diagnosis system and we have the stars and we have the please give your cooperation and answer this question regarding your symptoms and please take note this process may not take long Okay, so down here we have the rule. So if uh, if the rule is correct, then uh, it will execute. We or we can conclude that uh, the patient have this disease. So what disease? Uh, we'll further explain on down here. So uh, before that, we we, we also uh, we also uh, will ask uh, output this. Uh, thank you and please take care. If need anything, uh, please free. Uh, please uh, refer to the nearest prophecies for further information. Right, so, uh, so down here we have the the rules, the knowledge base. If cold, then cold. If typhoid, typhoid, it's typhoid. If flu, we go to flu. And measles, we go to measles. And if malaria, then malaria. If then COVID, then COVID. If not, so nothing will happen, now. right? So we have this uh, one knowledge base, which is uh, for the cold disease. So we have uh, the symptom. Uh, number one is headache, runny nose, uh, sneezing, and sore throat. So if the patient uh, verify all these four conditions, uh, the system will execute uh, that the patient have a cold, have a cold disease, and we will provide also uh, advice and suggestion, which is uh, for cold disease, we have Tylenol, Protap, 
Panadol per tap and nasal spray. And also we have the suggestion which which is please wear warm clothes. It is because I believe uh, uh, we continue on the top here. Uh, if 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 cold then cool. So uh, then I uh, I believe it is because I believe that the patient have cold, right? So down here also we have the second knowledge base uh, for the flu. So if the symptom that the patient is uh, having is experienced. Uh, fever, headache, chills, and body ache. Uh, it will execute that. It will tell us that the, the patient will have a uh, flu. So it will suggest an advice uh, a Tamiflu tummy tab, Panadol per tab, Zanamizvir per tab, and also please take a warm bath and do salt gargling. It is because I believe that the patient have flu. Okay, and for the, third, uh, for the third one, we have COVID. So this is also the knowledge base. Uh, if the patient have fever, cough, tightness, low taste, and lost smell, it will conclude that the patient will have a uh, COVID. And also advise vitamin C, panadol per tap, antibiotic per tap, and salt gargling, which can uh, which are uh, needed for the patient to gargle three times a day. And please stay at home and social distancing. For, and for the fourth uh, disease, we have typhoid. So the symptom that uh, for typhoid is headache, abdominal pain, poor appetite, and fever. So if all four of these is true, then it will execute and conclude that the patient is ha having a typhoid. So the suggestion and advice that uh, should the patient that uh, should be taken is uh, a Chloro, chloramphenicol per tap, amoxicillin per tap, ciprofloxacin per tap, azithromycin per tap. And also, please do complete bed rest and take a soft diet. Because it is because I believe that the patient has typhoid. Let's go. Uh, okay, then we move on to the measles. So we, if, if, if the patient has fever, runny nose, rash, and conjunctivities, and it will conclude that the patient have measles. And advice the Tylenol per tap, Leaf per tap, Advil per tap, vitamin A. And also a uh, suggestion that, this, uh, that the patient uh, need to get some rest and use more liquid. Okay. So for malaria, last but not least, um, is we uh, if the patient have fever, sweating, headache, uh, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Uh, the system will uh, detect it and uh, conclude that the patient will have malaria and suggest that the patient need to take uh, aluron per tap, qualiquin per tap, plaquenil per tap, and mefloquin per uh, maloquin. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a liquid. Uh, and uh, as, uh, advise that the, the patient need to to not sleep in open area and cover your full skin. Okay, it is because I believe the patient have malaria. Right, so down here uh, is the question. Uh, is the question rule where uh, we ask uh, the uh, the following symptom. If the patient have following symptom, then yes, 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 yes. And then if uh, um, patient need to type in yes as a response because we said here respond equals to yes response equals to y right so now we will uh, try on the right side okay so we put the code as the, our execution rule don't forget to put uh, full stop at the end to execute the rule wait wait, wait. Uh, we need to consult first i'm sorry then we go all right right there so we have uh, execute on uh, the the introduction uh, intro introduction heading for our system, which is uh, like I said before. Welcome to our expert system of medical diagnosis system. Please give your cooperation and answer this question regarding your symptoms. And please take note this process may not take long. So if uh, if you, if I or you or anyone would like to test uh, uh, for the cold uh, for the cold uh, disease so uh, here on the list is uh, for a cold uh, cold patient uh, it should have a headache runny nose sneezing and sore throat for the symptoms so we have to uh, say yes for the headache right here yes runny nose yes 
Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I misput. Misput. Wait, wait. Let's try again. Okay. Uh, let's try again. Uh, yes. Yes. So try it. Yes. And if all all three are right, uh, it will suggest that the patient have a cold disease and suggesting that the cold should have Tylenol, Panadol, and nasal spray. Yes, and also please wear warm clothes. It is because I believe that the patient have cold. Thank you, and please take care if anything. Please refer to the nearest pharmacist for further information. So if you want to try again, uh, we. Uh, this time we try for COVID, so we put go as execution rule. So here, uh, does the following have a headache? No, for COVID we have not have a headache. Have a fever? Yes, we do have a fever. Runny nose? No, we do not have. Sweating? No, we do not have. Also, cough? Yes, we have cough. Tightness? Yes, we have tightness. Lost taste? Yes, we do have ti uh, lost taste. And for the lost smell? Yes, we have lost smell. And if most of the symptom is um, true, we will automatically execute and conclude that this uh, patient is having uh, a certain disease, well, which is for this case, this uh, the the patient have a COVID disease. So he says here, uh, the advice uh, the patient should have uh, should take vitamin C, Panadol, Patem, and antibiotics, and salt water, which is for to gargling. Uh, gargle three times a day and that uh, we advise that this patient need to stay at home and social distancing because I believe that the patient have COVID and so I think that's all uh, for our group system thank you and Assalamualaikum